Yo, 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 all my game musicians out there, this is the Obnoxious Elbow, double O sharp for short, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sunday. So, um, there was one little part that we forgot here, so, um, if I can just, oh yeah, here we go. Um, if we go down here, remember that one item that we found? Um, but anyway, actually, so yeah, we have this little maze here. Yeah, so we just happen to kind of overlook this whole part here. It's a really huge, huge um, skating puzzle that I kind of um, did some trial and error on off screen, and it's it's a bit of a headache. But um, as you can kind of see here, I'm just kind of applying the pattern as it is. So like that, and then let's see. So yeah, um, yeah. Let's try that again here. So we have to just go. On the, on this portion, just the top portion here, touching the wall, go left, go down, go right, go down again, go right again, go down, and then I think we're supposed to do this, go up, and I think I messed it up. Okay, so anyway, do this, I think. Yeah, I think this does it. Yeah, so you have to go left. So yeah, here we go. So, um... We basically are now in a new area of the cave. Um, and... Let's see. Is my Pokemon ready? Because we are going to be expecting a Pokemon battle soon here. Um, Wampa needs to get healed up. I should probably do that right now before I live to regret it. Before I rue the day that I lose to this mysterious stranger here. The one that looks like Brock. Yes, yeah, spoilers. It's gonna be we're gonna be facing that guy who was guarding the cave earlier. A and um I'm trying to find some healing items here. I think I have some healing items. I thought I did. Yeah, here we go. I have three of these one mass potion and one full restore. Let me just tell you though, guys, it's a lot better just Pitting your concert master out into the battle and just dominating from there because well, well it, it, it's better to do it's better to um, handle everything with with call dream because call dream at least has steel type moves that are handy against stab I mean, I mean just handy against ice types so and given that um steel is super effective steel moves are super effective against ice that kind of makes a great opportunity to um, win the battle there. So yeah, we have these two items here. I have no idea what they are because I kind of skipped skipped over all that. So I'll just take the bottom one because I'm a hipster. Oh boy, you found it! The treasures! The jewel of all jewels! I have no idea what these jewels... I'm not exactly sure what significance these jewels hold, but yeah, there we go. As promised, you can keep half the treasure! But this half is mine. Thank you so much, without a comma, Oboe. I'm on top of the world for just grabbing a piece of jewelry. I feel like I could do anything. I feel like I, I could just watch King of the Hill um, for five hours straight and not fall asleep. Yes, anything. Even win a Pokemon without an SM marker for the E battle. Let's go. Yep, here we go. Now we're getting forced into a battle here. Yeah, and let me just tell you, this guy is a jerk. If you're not prepared, he will die. He will actually obliterate much of your team here. And things didn't really go so smoothly here against Lapras. I actually, I think I switched out. But yeah, anyway, um, I think best thing you can do right here is thrash. But be mindful of Lapras's defense. Okay, there we go. Oh no, surf. You're surfing on a polar bear, really? And you have leftovers, I see. It's thrashing about! I must always keep repeating that Ted Lewis line. And yeah, there we go, I get confused in the process. Unfortunately, I don't have any full heals on me, I don't think. So I best thing I can do is either wait out this confusion, or what I could also do is... 
switch on over to one of my other Pokemon here. Like Nemoswine, which might be handy, I don't know. Um, given that Nemoswine is also half ground. But here's the thing, Nemoswine's also a jerk. Like everything else here. Um, so, ugh. You could probably go with a flying type here, but you really don't want to. And P Hat's gonna just become fodder anyway. Um, so I think it's probably best to just kind of wait things out here. I'm probably gonna hurt myself for a couple of turns. Uh, that's okay. Do I have anything though that I can use, even berries? Don't think I do though. I don't have any full heals. I know that for sure. I have a full restore, but I'm not, I'm not gonna waste a full restore for just only that much health. That much health being taken away. Okay, so no berries. So I guess wait it out. Oh, why did I do that? Yeah, let's not run from the battle. Instead, let, let's just use a better move here, or try to use a better move, and let's just hope to. Sustain this earthquake. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna hurt ourselves? Yep, I knew it. Yeah, because, you know, my Pokemon just can't really do the job. Okay, so yeah, here we go. I guess I have to switch out. Switching out to whatever. Uh, do I have a... Well, I do have Steel-type moves on Dodongo, but Dodongo is also a Steel-type, and it's also a Rock-type. So that would be four times the effectiveness. So, yeah, I do not want to... I do not want to put my... My Dodongo, my... My, um... Layer on in any terrible situations right now. So, best thing we can do, either use Heavy Slam or Moon Blast. I'm going to use Heavy Slam. And yeah, Mammoth Swine is a tank too, so yeah, just be mindful of that as well. Yikes. Luckily, I have plenty of healing items, so in, in, case, I, in case if I'm in dire straits, I can just... I can also um, increase my defense too, but I'm not going to do that, because waste of turn, I guess. But there we go. That, that'll, that'll be the end of Mammoth Swine there. And yeah, anyone else, be prepared for a world of hurt. Vanillux, I will not switch out. Even though I probably should also try to use my aggron for Vanillux as well, but yeah, anyway. I can slam an ice cream cone. And still not get b barely anything. Ooh. Speed fell. That's that's just perfect. Uh, anyway, um, let me just try to dongo here and just see if I can come up with better results. Mirror coat. <laughs> I'm very glad that missed. That could have spelled doom for me right there. Right there and now. Okay, Iron Tail, do something. You should do something because Iron Tail is a lot more powerful than Heavy Slam. Less accuracy, but still pretty powerful. You can still land a pretty decent punch. Cryogonal is a dick. Um, but I'm gonna keep you out anyway. At least I was able to get Mammal Swine up because I think last time I I actually battled him off screen and I I think I kept my Dodongo out while battling Mammal Swine. Terrible mistake. Terrible mistake to miss that too, Dodongo. What was that? Come on, better better performance here. Come on, pep 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 pep. Thank you. God damn it. Hit it when that happens. Hit it when your Pokemon just seem to fall asleep and just can't seem to defog its vision. Uh, like, 
No, I'll take it down. Whatever. Ow. That's kind of... I mean, Blizzard's pretty powerful anyway, but... The Dongo! Buddy! Speaking of defogging your vision, you should probably defog yours. <sighs> I shouldn't have to use a healing item for this. If you miss Rockside, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you on the bench. No excuse. If Cryogonal can pull off a blizzard, which also which also technically should have missed by then, because Blizzard also has pretty bad accuracy. You could probably pull off a rock slide or a takedown. That that was not. Yeah, that's where. You, yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna switch out here. No use in keeping you out and just making a fool out of yourself. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Yeah, that that was embarrassing. I am leaving you on the bench. Good thing you missed there. God. You see, what did I tell you? Blizzard also has some pretty bad accuracy. But this Cryogonal, if, it, if this Cryogonal could pull off three Blizzards consecutively, I don't really see the reason why my Dodongo shouldn't have pulled off either a takedown or a rock slide. Just really, really inexcusable. Oh, yay, now I can no longer switch out. Yay. Doesn't matter, you go down anyway. And yeah, that was it. You're a master of both treasure hunting and battle, except whenever my Pokemon just happened to miss. That was a fine battle, Oboe. If you say so. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, yeah, yeah here go. Yeah, I see. You don't remember your past. Well, if I hear anything about a Zayn, I'll be sure to let you know. Still don't know what, that, what a Zayn is. Still doesn't give me any information regarding um, where else to go. Where should I go next? However, reason why I saved... So apparently, my my designer buddy here did not program a self switch. So here's what will happen if I hit this again. Okay, so no, never mind. I hit a relic gold. However, if you actually, there is actually a glitch here that if you actually hit the hit an item from another angle, uh, and I was able to pull this off off screen, it didn't trigger a self switch, so I had to go. So I had to do the battle again. I mean, the 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 guy just came back and, you know, the same dialogue and everything. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you if you don't do... If you... I mean, if you, t if you approach an item... I mean, if you... Um, well, I mean, he here's the thing about essentials. So, items are generally on... Um, items are generally events... So if you if you use um, the action button, if you switch everything everything to action button, that should actually that that that'll trigger an event, and it'll 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 give you a script saying that you got an item, plus any other accompanying text after that. Yeah, and that that was my last repel. But anyway, any accompanying text after that, and. It'll also trigger other events like maybe say battles or whatever. So if you approach an item, yeah, I forgot about Womp. I, I forgot about Womp being slower than Syrup here. But anyway, if you actually um, don't program a self, I mean, if if you don't program a self switch following the item there, then that item item will be infinite and it will infinitely trigger trigger the event following a after you get a after getting the item so I don't know why I used wing attack because I could have just used nightshade but whatever whatever that'll do 
that'll suffice. But yeah, just putting it, putting that out there. Always be sure to to program self switches whenever you're doing a Pokemon fan game, guys. Because if you don't, then chances are you're gonna see that item just infinitely appear, spawn, and it'll spawn the same dialogue as before. So yeah, you have to be sure that you either either program a self switch or just a conditional branch or something that'll turn that event off. And Jinx, I'm getting kind of tired of you, even though I can outspeed you. That is, I'm pretty sure Murkrow can outspeed you here. Yes, because I'm nine. Le I'm not only nine levels ahead, but Murkrow is also a beast. And if I only had a Dusk Stone to evolve Honch in into Honchkrow, then things would be, things probably would be somewhat broken, a lot more, a lot more broken. But anyway, Vanilla Light, there we go. That's always pretty good, seeing you. However, I'm still hoping for the best, that we can finally progress with our merry lives here. Because it would kind of suck if we didn't. Okay, here's the opening. So, I have no idea what this relic gem is supposed to do. Unless I'm supposed to put it on a rock somewhere and it'll trigger some sort of event. But, I really, I mean, I don't... I really don't know what else to... Oh, wait, here we go. So, yeah, now we're finally able to progress. Oh, Obo, Dalet told me I could find you here. Yeah, I guess so. I heard that my friend Sadek knows someone named Zayan, or Zayan. Sadek lives in Lithium Town. You should look him up. Okay, so I should probably go back to Lithium Town then. There's a gym there, too, if you want to take that on. Usually, to get to, to get to Lithium Town, I'd recommend going through Route 2. But it seems there has been a bit of a wrong... Oh, yeah, 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 here we go. So, yeah, so... We ha um, we couldn't really get there before due to the rock slide. Because there were some leftover borders there. So, we can finally progress from Lithium Town, then, to the north. You have to go through Drillbur's Tunnel at the end of Route 12. Yeah, yeah, I remembered all that. So yeah, we can finally progress, and wow! Oh my goodness gracious, you are very slow. <laughs> I was almost suspecting you to kind of go through the raw, glitch through the wall there. But nope, I guess not. But yeah, um, okay, so I found the rock slide. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't have rock smash. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take, um, What's his name's advice? And go down Route 12, I think. Is this? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, apparently there's a there's a yeah. There, I, now I remember there was actually um, there was actually a cave there right by um, right by the town. That'll take us actually. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, Drillbur's tunnel. If we go down here, if we go through this tunnel, I think, then chances are we'll end up in Lithium Town. And as you can see here, um, there are plenty of rocks. You can see some, some, um, objects, if you can call them those. And if we take a look over here, there's the gem. So yeah, Lithium Town is, Lithium Town is just downhill from here unfortunately though if we think realistically if we think like a pokemon trainer apparently we can't scale down mountains like these unless we had if we had something like rock climb which was only used in one one um one of the handheld games and that was diamond and pearl and unfortunately we're not in Sino, so we can't exactly use rock climb and we don't have it we don't have any just any rocks, any little rocks to scale down to. So we're gonna have to take the Drillbur's tunnel on Route 12. So I guess until then, I will see you guys until I um, go back to that tunnel again or um, until we just kind of make some achievable progress down Route 12 and then I'll just, we'll just go take it from there. So I will be seeing you guys in the next one. It, in the nest, Vun. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to sound like a Transylvanian 